Hello everybody and welcome to Technoverse, the channel where I showcase you my creations. So today I'm going to show you all how I designed, printed and made my own spring lock from Fredbear's Family Diner and more known Five Nights at Freddy's. So get ready, take a seat and enjoy the show. Spring locks are very fascinating devices. You can find them in any hardware store and they are used in plenty of applications from phones to garage doors to CD players, literally anything. They are very simple, they are like simple enough to be reliable, not break easily, but polyvalent enough so that they are used in very like a big variety of uses. But I've got the feeling that you're not here for garage doors. You're here for animatronics, robots, androids. And so what's the kind of story with it? Well, to those who didn't know and lived in a cave for the last 30 years, spring locks were invented by a genius engineer Henry Emery and then improved upon by William J. Afton, founder of the Afton Robotic Company, in the early 80s and early 90s for Afton. They were used in animatronic devices called spring lock suits and they operated a kind of functionality that allowed the suit to be worn. Like you've still got the endoskeleton inside but it's pushed inside the suit like all around you so that a human, a performer, can come in like a Chuck E. Cheese rip-off mascot, but much better and less costly than a working animatronic. Unfortunately, Fazbear Entertainment decommissioned the suit when the Freddy character started walking around. And that's even that feature, animatronics walking around, was decommissioned which did not guarantee the return of spring lock suits as we know it after the big mess that was the 1987 location and the bite of 87 but that's a story for another day right now let's focus on how I designed the spring lock in a 3D space so I used a software called Fusion 360, it's very useful, like if you want to do um, precision modeling to the tenth of a millimeter, it's the perfect software for you. I'm using the free version, the version for students, so I don't have access to a lot of tools, but just enough tools so that I can make a reliable and very well made spring lock. And so here's a footage of it. First off, I made the base, then I did a rod, and then did some tweaks and tricks to make them fit together in real life, and voila, as simple as that, and how of work, and you've done it, you've got your own spring lock. I'm very happy of the results. Like I didn't expect it like something really big and really good, you know. But uh, I actually really like how it turned out. It's bigger than I expected. It's far stronger, and oh boy, it snaps! I bet you're here to see it snap. So be it. These bad boys can pack a real punch. If that bad boy was in a suit, it would crunch anything between the endoskeleton parts. So that's actually a good thing because if the parts get stuck, you know, together and the, the spring is like really strong, it can compress enough so that if parts uh, fold incorrectly, it will force the endoskeleton to stay together. So imagine like between two rods, you've got like uh, one of them who's 
slightly bent when well, the force of the spring will put everything like back in the right place if the if the springs were weak it wouldn't really do the same job you know that's why my spring locks have to be stronger so that whatever project i have next works perfectly well